Hello, this is instructor John Nicholson with Math 144 at Grand Canyon University Online. This is an introductory video for week six, topic six, where we'll be covering uh, statistics. There's going to be uh, several assignments due, two DQs, the homework and review and participation as always, but also uh, the benchmark uh, major assignment three is due on week six. It is a double assignment worth almost 200, total 175 points. So it's the biggest assignment in the class. Do check with your instructor if you need some extra time. Usually they can work with you, given the size of the assignment, but you want to do that up front. It is specifically due at the end of this week on Sunday at midnight. Okay, without further ado, let's go through uh, what constitutes uh, week six, topic six in this class. Uh, first thing I always like to start out is with the path tab, which I was just on. Path tab is your best friend. Everything's contained under it, including at the top of it on the left, sorry, on the right, the syllabus tab, which is what we'll go over quickly. You should be familiar with this by now. Uh, every introductory video seems to go through it, but maybe one. Uh, as I said, topic six is about statistics. Uh, the key thing about this are the objectives, which are listed in uh, seven parts. One, differentiating between types of statistics, uh, applying statistics to solve problems, using descriptive statistics, which is the majority of what we'll use here, and graphs to solve application problems. Four, decide if normal distribution is appropriate model for a given data set. The normal distribution is also called the bell curve distribution. It should be familiar by, to you by that name. It's used to evaluate IQs, income, heights. It's a good model for a lot of different uh, popular data sets and statistics. Uh, five, solve problems using the property of the normal distribution. Six, interpret data from different types of graphs. And seven, explain how standard deviation and margin of error relate to statistical surveys. Very little of that will be in here, but you might see that in like the standard homework or reviews that make up every weekly assignment in the Alex system, which you should also be familiar with by now, especially the resources. You'll be using the resources in Alex as ever, the tech templates, many of which are also attached by your instructor in the DQ. I do in breakdowns, which you're probably familiar with but uh, they're often in multiple places but they're always in alex in the resources folder along with the videos the dozens of videos that you should be very used to using by now uh, moving on from uh, the objectives and having just capitulated the study materials again you can see there's a link to alex there but the alex link is under course materials in the path tab which is where you should live in many places in this course so let's move on to the assignments the assignments, uh, the topic six basics. Again, those are worth five points each week for a total of 35 for seven weeks. If you did well on that initial knowledge check, most of those might be done by now. Uh, if not, finish up it for this week and next. You don't need to spend a lot of time. Uh, there's 166 topics, but they should go quickly. Uh, they're mostly pre-algebra review. Finish it up so you get 100% on all of them. Shouldn't take you much time. Again, the homework, 25 problems. You can do it as long as you like, as many times as you like. The review is timed uh, as ever, but you can take it as many times as you want until you get the grade you want up until the end of the week. Again, if you need more time, talk to your instructor. Most are understanding in my experience. Enlarge this a little bit so it's a little easier to see. And finally, last but not least, the benchmark, major assignment three. This consists of an essay as well as a spreadsheet portion, from, uh, which just just like the, the first uh, the spreadsheets in Major Assignment 1 and 2. We'll talk a little bit more about that. But let's go a little bit through the DQs. The DQs in this class, let's drill down to them. As you know, when you go back to Path tab under the Topics of the Week, you'll see both the study materials, which I just described, which is usually the Alex in the textbook. But the assignment tasks are right there. Let's look at the DQs quickly. Uh, if we go into it right here, this is where they're graded. You'll see that it's the DQ Tech Template or Tech Hint QR41 that is in the Alex Resources folder, but it can also be posted. Uh, I post breakdowns myself for both DQs. Take a look at them here.
This is for a class that went on previously. Uh, it's very useful to constantly look through uh, student posts as well. Here is uh, all the resources posted by one instructor that covered for me in this class. But the important thing is to go to the resources here. Uh, Brent, who covered for me, posted the tech template in this class in addition to finding an Alex up front at the very top of the DQ. So this first uh, week, DQ1, requires you to do a frequency table on two data sets. One data set is blood type, and the other data set is record high temperatures in all 50 states. Uh, make sure you study the videos and Alex on the count if function. Uh, it can count both alpha, alphabetical data as well as numeric data. And there should be a video there on how to deal with and construct frequency tables as well. So you want to look at both those DQs, uh, or sorry, you want to look at both of the, all the resources, the tech templates that cover those DQs, so you can provide frequency tables for both uh, the blood type data and the record high temperature. Okay, the second DQ for topic six, week six, is DQ tech template 42 again. The substitute posted here. I do it in a breakdown a little bit further down, but it also is in the resources folder in Alex. These are very quick, just graphical questions on constructing a pie chart and a bar graph. Uh, very important graphics. If you watch the videos in Alex or anything you might see posted by instructor, it's a very easy thing to use using the ribbon and uh, the spreadsheet in Excel to construct those type of graphs from the data you're given. So nothing too hard there. Uh, so let's move right without right on without further ado to the biggest assignment in this week, which is going back to the path tab again where you should live, which is the benchmark assignment, the major assignment three. Now the good news on the major assignment three is that at least for the spreadsheet, all the formulas are things you've seen before, in the homework, the review, the DQs, as well as previous major assignments. There's no new math, no new formulas. It either comes from the major assignments, which in turn previously should be seen in the DQs as well as the homework and reviews. So nothing's new there. So your best way to prepare for that part of the assignment is going over the major assignments and studying the feedback that it corrects any mistakes. That will be the best way to prepare for that. The other thing uh, that makes it a double assignment is the write-up, the essay, which you should have been working towards ever since uh, week three of the class when you did the week three DQ1. Very important that you were bu bu building on your work there to prepare for this because all the stuff you did as preliminary research starting with DQ1 for week three will be what you're gonna use to write this essay. It's a 2000 plus a word essay covering eight sections. And in the write-up, it describes what those sections are, who you're helping with your project, uh, what type of assistance you're providing, how you're going to manage the project, specifically in its first half and second half, how you're going to evaluate the success of your project, how uh, your project contributes to it at the ethics of a Christian worldview, analyzing that uh, from a Christian worldview perspective, and then a summary of your reflections on your project overall. This uh, link write-up, under task gives you a very detailed account of exactly what your essay needs to contain. Uh, if you've made an A in any 100 level class on an essay, you should be able to make an A on this one. It should not be graded at any sort of higher level of difficulty. But you need to be complete and answer all the questions described in that write-up template there. And that's really the assignments for the class. Of course, the participation, as ever, is a total of eight participatory points participatory points that's a little riddle tongue twister there eight participatory points inclusive of two responses to each of the dqs one and two if you do that for a total of eight six plus two you should get full points which is 20. so be sure to communicate with your instructor if you have any questions and uh good luck and we're almost there only one week to go after this one thank you